things are going to get interesting now. Always in it. We got Dustin Diamond in the studio, Jim Gaffigan in the studio. We're finding out we're being uh, fined by the FCC as we speak. I guess so. And they're getting everything all wrong. Breaking news. Like Kreskin will be, be holding a press conference. <laughs> Goddamn Kreskin. And, of course, uh, New York Radio Message Board getting it all wrong. Well, that's only one of uh, the many, many uh, media outlets jumping on the story already. This is ridiculous, first of all. You want me to read a little something? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, FCC hits ONA with fine. PM drivers, Opie and Anthony locally heard uh, on WJFK-FM. Guess this is coming out of Washington, this story. Get their New York City station fined by the FCC for, uh, what, 21000 bucks? Oh. <laughs> $21,000. <laughs> For a series of indecent broadcasts, including late 2000 airings of... Okay. Could you please tell me when we did this show? Girl giving her father oral. <laughs> when, when, when? Was I out that day, perhaps? I think... I had, was I, uh, maybe I was going to the bathroom. That was the day you were a little sick. That was was I little playing the weather. foosball? That was the Christmas show, right? Was it? I came in late, maybe. <laughs> I, I was trying to make that last goal. I, I came in a minute late from break, and it had already been over. I think you had a court date, and I figured, you know, if I'm going to do the show by myself... You I, might as well have a girl giving her father oral. Well, I'm not good at the voices. I figure this could be something that'll get us through that day. You sons <laughs> of bitches. You're getting this all wrong. Can you uh, read that that's again? One. Yes, yes. Read it again. We're getting fined for what? What, 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 what? $21,000 for a series of indecent broadcasts, uh, including late 2000 airings of A Girl Giving Her Father Oral. <laughs> Jim, you want to be on this show today? Uh, <laughs> comma. It's not over yet. <laughs> a Are girl. using you for R. Kelly or something? <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> a girl sticking a phone receiver in her pants. Right. And in early 2001, a parody song about pedophilia. All the fines, uh, blah, 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 broadcast occurred before the opening of Anthony started airing on JFK. So, uh, I, I, first of all, I don't remember the uh, father-daughter uh, oral. <laughs> that's, see, that's one of those benchmark things that would kind of stand out you know in my what? head. But, Ant, that was one of our uh, throwaway bits. Was that a throwaway? Maybe we didn't Not remember one of our it. benchmarks. It was just one of those, eh, eh whatever, we're just filling time here type of thing. And guess what's in my pants? Has it gotten to the point now, without even describing what is going on, that you can't even make sound effects on the air in certain ways? Has that where, where we've gotten to, as far as this goes? And a parody song about pedophilia, in the context of a contest we were doing, the most offensive song ever written. That's what we were doing that day. We had people write in offensive songs on race, sex, retardation, everything. Because the gimmick of the bit was the most offensive song. Were there so, any Screech songs? No, there were no okay. Screech songs. Right. <laughs> Which, uh, yeah, that might have that might have uh, covered up the pedophile songs. Yeah, can't get oh. fined for that one. No, not at all. Good to have you in here, by the way. That's yeah, great to be had. You know? we, uh, we saw you, we, we were behind you once at WrestleMania. In yes. Anaheim. Out in Anaheim. In 2000, April 2nd. Yeah. It was Did only, you? Yeah, right. only one time. Okay. <laughs> and for 2002 uh, airing of Screech, yeah. <laughs> performing oral on... Jeez, man. That's ridiculous. Can no you proof. Can believe they do this? And yeah, now it says... Uh, I don't know. I'm not even going to get into the ins and outs of this whole thing, but I mean, it's getting ridiculous. It's getting ridiculous. It's radio. It's supposed to be an open forum. To some point, and now they're they're pulling back a little too hard, and uh, the repercussions are going to be a lot further than than just this show. You're going to see stupid stuff start happening. Maybe there are certain people who are members of the church that want to divert attention from what's really going on with their uh, blah, 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 blah. yeah. How about that one, fellow uh, parishioners? Do you think uh, our show uh, is responsible for priests? Sucking away. Well, if you look at who's in the FCC. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, you guys are probably hey, going to get Jim for this Hey, Jim Norton. Jim Norton. Don't say that, Jim Norton. <laughs> <laughs> so there you have it. That's breaking news. Breaking news. Boy, this will bump uh, Kreskin's UFO story out of the top slot. Whoops. <laughs> I'm sure. The press is going to have a field day with this one. You watch. Yeah, you know. What will this mean? 
And then all the little message boards will start chatting. It's over. It's over, see? No. The backlash has begun. We Shut eat, up. We eat crap like this up. Don't worry about it. Yeah, well, Kreskin was stupid, too. I was listening to that earlier. How ridiculous is Kreskin? You know, I have a prediction for Kreskin myself. Yeah. Okay, wait. I'm getting it now. I'm feeling that while he was doing this interview earlier, uh, old Zeb was taking care of his old lady at home. You know, come on, Kreskin. Kreskin is a tool. He is a Kreskin, tool. Kreskin, fellas, Kreskin is my best friend. Is he? No. <laughs> Jim Gaffigan. I remember growing up and watching him on The Tonight Show and stuff, you know, on Johnny Carson. Go, and uh, here comes Kreskin. And Kreskin had come out, and it was like, wow, as a kid, you're like, ooh, look, he's amazing Johnny. He's amazing Johnny Carson. So he's got to be good. How now he calls he? us up, and uh, he's 800 years old. Wow. He calls us up now and tells us that he's got to run real quick. He can only be on the air for a short period of time because the press is waiting for him. He's got to go to the next interview. I'm just amazed he's still doing anything at all. I mean, the amazing Randy, you know, yeah. made him a hoax way earlier with his spoon bending and all that. you got to give him credit. He is still around. Kreskin did one of his uh, gags on our show about a month, month and a half ago, yeah. uh, Dustin. He fell down. We thought he had a stroke live on our show. I swear it was to you. Great. We didn't really? know what to do. It but was it was part great. of his uh, gag, I guess. <laughs> that he was overcome by the the power, the power that flows in him, just yeah. got to him. What you do that crossing in New York Street? You know what I mean? Just yeah. fall down. I have a bus. His big uh, goofy glasses went flying, and we just were all so uncomfortable. You know what should happen to Cresty on his way into a performance? He should be murdered like uh, Scatman Crothers in The Shining. Yeah. Somebody should just come out with an axe. <laughs> <laughs> Is anybody in the press here? Flock. A <laughs> uh, gay Marco wants to say hi to Dustin. Hey. Marco. Oh my God, I love Saved by the Bell. Yeah, I'm gay the Marco. Fan. What's going on, really? gay Marco? I love that show. I have to tell you, when I was a male escort, I adopted your name. I was Dustin Diamond. Oh no, I thought you meant Screech. I was going to say no. you should go with Scratch or you know Sniff or something. I don't. Oh my God, I love Saved by the Bell. Every Saturday morning, I would spank one out to it. Ugh. Oh, <laughs> and cut. It was the best show, and you know what? It, the first year cast was so great. Oh well, great. Yeah, thanks. You know. Except, and I wonder what happened to everybody. Until now, I see your back. But what happened to that black chick? I don't know. I think she's probably spanking one out somewhere right now too. You know? <laughs> oh my God! You don't keep and in touch with those uh, those guys anymore? No, I don't make it to the unemployment office that much though. Oh, you know what I mean? oh, oh boy! Yeah, I'm always on the road. <laughs> wow, <laughs> that's a little brutal. <laughs> oh come on! You didn't you get s- along with her? Oh yeah, sure. But you spend ten years with someone, you gotta you know bust them a little bit. Right. Okay. Anything else, Marco? Oh my God! And that guy Angel who was in the second year. You know, the second class? Oh, my God, he was so hot. Okay, now, wait a minute, Mark. I got a question for you. Now, how much were you charging when you were going under my alias? <laughs> $200. Oh, good. Hey. So I wasn't cheap. All right, good. Were you barebacking? No. <laughs> what would you get for $200, Marco? Um, just about everything except for, like, heavy-duty S&M. So no one's going to watch Say by the Bell ever again is basically what we're yeah. getting to. Yeah. All right, Marco, you are. Okay, I wanted to say hi. Bye. Love you. You have nothing. Oh. <laughs> what about uh, Elizabeth Berkeley? What was that like when you saw her in that Ooh. movie? Oh, Had show- you seen her uh, nude before show- on the set of Saved by the Bell? Showgirls? Oh, come on now. Yeah. We, I mean, the first week. Because it used to be uh, with Haley Mills, Good Morning, Miss Bliss. Mm-hmm. Then it became Saved by the Bell when NBC picked it up from uh, the NBC Disney merger. They added Slater, Jesse, and Kelly. And Elizabeth Berkeley was in the next dressing room over from mine. Yeah. And we had, it was one of those, it was Sunset Gower Studios in L.A., and it was set up to where, it was two dressing rooms with a very thin dividing wall that you could, you, it was so thin that you could hear through it, um, it whispers anything, oh. you know, TV. Oh. Now, he, here's why. <laughs> I asked uh, later, and I found out you could take the wall down in like 15 minutes. No, no questions oh, they asked. need a bigger room. Yeah, to make, you mm-hmm. know, in case a big celebrity comes in, someone important, right? I'm taking down the stock photos and paintings of, like, vases, apples, stuff like that. Putting up my own pictures, you know, I'm going to be there for the whole season, Uh-oh. right? Oh. Take down the poster on the dividing wall. There's a hole. No sawdust. Obviously cleanly been drilled through. Oh, yeah. Looking into where Elizabeth's going to be changing. Ah. So I got a moral dilemma now, right? You know, do I call security and have them come plug up the no hole? Dilemma. No, you luck. You don't, yeah. even, you don't even go through that thought So you're saying process. I should plug up the hole, right? Yeah. Did so, you see her? No, I sat down for about a half hour looking at that wall. I figured, you know Pondering what? Pondering it. Screw it, let her look. I don't care. You know, give her a throw. Oh, I, I get it. Ooh, hey. It doesn't offend me, you know? <laughs> oh, boy. So why they call me Screech, you know? <laughs> Welcome to the fourth dimension. But when you, saw, when you saw her in the movie, now, you hadn't seen her naked before. 
A right. little bit. You, know. you had? Yeah. You know, I mean, I went, still went and sat in the front row. I mean, I buttered my popcorn, yeah, so to speak. Yeah. You know. Nice. Nice, though, yeah, right? Pretty when you good. see something like that happen, it's like... The movie was only missing one thing, uh, a, a story. You know, yeah, it, was, plot, it, it, it you didn't know? need one. It was just cool that the girl from Saved by the Bell was naked. Because <laughs> that's how everybody was saying it. You want to go see that Saved by the Bell girl naked yeah. movie? And Marco's out there right now going, when is show boys coming out, you know? Oh, no. Yeah, the same poster except the ad campaign, but the uh, the leg is hairy. Yeah, I, don't hairy. Th- I don't think we need to go see that one. Andy with the bad phone. Hello? Hello. What's oh up, Andy? Oh, my God. Where's he calling from, Venus? Where I'm calling from is way upstate, where, way past where Spaz used to live. All right. All right. What's up is uh, I heard rumor that something Diamond was Michael Diamond's little brother from the Beastie Boys. Yeah. Or not. That is that is a very old rumor. It is not true. Mike Diamond, uh, Mike D of the Beastie Boys, is not my brother. What about Neil Diamond? Neil Diamond? <laughs> uh, tell you the truth, I think he might be my uh, dad's second cousin. Related? Yeah. yeah. I'm not sure, though, because the only woman who knew all the family secrets and stuff, I never met him, but uh, yeah. she died and took all the secrets with her. Well. Saved by the bell. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll never find out that, and we'll never know who Miss Calabash was. You know, mm-hmm. this mm-hmm. is Calabash. Mm-hmm. All right, we also got to say hi to Jim Gaffigan. He's in the studio. You guys Jim, are, you guys Jim. are ignoring me. Huh? No, we're not. No, I'm just not at all. We're, we're just hey, at least from. Dice isn't here today. I know. I tell you, I, was that the last time he was in here? Remember when Dice was in here? Dice and, uh, was here. He kept on calling me a farmer. Yeah. A farmer. The guy's a farmer, and he's got a TV show. And he wouldn't let he wouldn't let him talk. It was awful. It was so funny. You were sitting there being nice and just trying to say a couple of things. He's who's the farmer you got here? <laughs> no, it was awful. Him. But no. you don't have that distraction today. No, no. I'm so you'll be able to, to be just with flow with your comedy, whatever you want to do. Feel free. You're you're welcome here. He well, saw our uh, prep sheet and started laughing. No, there's nothing there. It's nothing there. We got to go with the breaking news of our FCC fine. Yeah, I don't know how you follow. And we the made that funny up. pedophilia stuff because that's <laughs> funny. <laughs> <laughs> it's in the context of the most offensive song. I just don't know how you follow a picture of Rich Voss, you know, in his uh, old comedy oh, days. Oh my God! By the way, uh, for the the people listening that listened yesterday, we were reviewing Rich Voss's tape from 13 years ago. His stand-up back. The pictures. Are up on foundrymusic.com. Yeah. So go there. I it, it is now my uh, my wallpaper on my desktop. And really? yeah, there it is. Oh. Oh, yeah. Look at <laughs> the hair, the teeth, <laughs> the teeth. The, uh, that is a chasm. That space a in the teeth is still there. Rock <laughs> chasm. Well, he had them capped. <laughs> now they're just these huge walrus <laughs> things. <laughs> But before that, look at how black. Yeah, it's unbelievable. In the middle, that is a just say no to drugs ad right there. <laughs> Those are the hills have eyes teeth. Yeah. He is a disgusting. Is it awful? And the Jew. Jerry curl is like. Is it a worm on his shoulder or is that a curl? It's a Jerry curl. I mean, he's got his hair all Jerry curled out. Dustin, is it true you guys uh, went uh, uh, to check out rats together? You and Voss and Norton. Yeah, yeah, we uh, checked out. I mean, it was the craziest thing. They're saying all these rats lived in the uh, in these little you know bushels that were you know fenced in. Was that by Seventy Second? Yes. Yeah. We're throwing down right where you make that turn. It's where you, it, you get off back, of so uh, make Broadway. A left off like Columbus Ave. Yeah. Right on Broadway. Dude, Wait. I used to have to make a left turn there, and I'd pull up and look down and go. Oh my God! It's a plague. Oh, it's, it's a the, plague of rats. It's the craziest thing because Norton pops out. He's like, "Check this out! I got some like Reese's uh, pieces stuff." Yeah, right? feed him. Great. Yeah, and he throws it out, and literally like two or three hundred come yeah. running out. Come on! Dude, yeah, it's insane. It's and where insane. Is this? It's at seventy uh, second. Yeah, but they're doing. They're, it's right by the seventy second Street uh, subway station. They're building something now, though, so I probably. I know. I think they. Be. You know something? That was a big problem, and it said there were signs on there that said. Uh, don't feed the animals. <laughs> the animals. I thought oh, they right. meant the homeless, you know? <laughs> yeah, you know the, anything. Dude, you didn't right. expect, like, 200 rats. And you'd see the, the, there was a, a covering of, like, ivy and this uh, little short brush that would come up about a foot and a half high. And you'd see it rattling. <laughs> with all the rats uh-huh. just moving underneath it. And it wasn't big. The the plot of of uh, uh, fenced in area wasn't any bigger than this studio. Oh, they were under the ground. We're not talking little like rats you'd see hamster size in the store. We're talking G- big rats. Giant rats just yeah. overtook this area, and, you and guys, that's we, where you went to feed them. We would put little peanut butter things out and just sit in the car for hours. 
Yeah, keep in mind, sit in the car. You wouldn't want to be just standing there, you know no, what I mean? No, frightening. They don't really bother me. I mean, I don't like them, but they're not going to jump on you. You they... just know it's a big, diseased mess in there. Well, so are you. I never saw it. <laughs> I've paid big, diseased messes for world <laughs> treats. Her favorites. <laughs> that thing I had one, this is true, man. I had a, a hooker, and I'm not going to say it was very recently, because I've been on dates with regular girls. <laughs> right. And uh, it's absolutely true. I'm like, well, do you shoot dope? Because she was really skinny, and you got to be careful. And she's like, no, I don't shoot dope. She's you just ask these things right out. Yeah. What a romantic Absolute thing. Absolutely. And question. she's drinking out of my mule. Yeah. And she's taking her fingers and she's going like this on the vein. On yours? Yeah. To, like they do on their arm. Right. To get the vein out and it worked. To get me. Well, right. that isn't good because Absolutely then you true. know she's a pro. And of course that's the, what that means. With the vein tap. There are two fingers. She was like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not hungry anymore. Absolutely true. Let's go to Mr. Gaffigan. Uh, do you have a similar experience? I uh, no, I don't. Really. Nothing like uh, that. Um, Nothing like that happened uh, to you. Your hookers never do no, that. No, most of my hookers have been uh, <laughs> non-drug induced. Really, non-tappers, huh? So that's healthy then. No tappers. You get though. the healthy hookers. Do so you have a rat story? Uh, uh, no, I have no I rat stories. On a rat yeah, once, okay. but that's. <laughs> That's, I'm I'm like a total pussy though. I mean, the, my girlfriend and I, there, there was a mouse in her apartment. You know, how, like the guy's supposed to like get rid of it. I was like jumping on the couch. I was like, you deal with it. <laughs> That's a good story. That's the difference between being Gaffigan. He did Letterman and has his own TV show. I have Hooker and Rat stories. <laughs> I'm a failure. Hey, those are some good rat stories. <laughs> This is all lies I'm reading in this complaint, Opie. If I may get back to that for a minute. Yeah, we're a little distracted here. In a segment of the Opie and Anthony show, the show's host asked a 17-year-old girl to remove her uh, panties. Oh, yeah. And rub the telephone on, and then it gives a very, very graphic description of say, what I'm saying say. that I can't even say in this on forum, what, or we'll have another one of these. Let on me say, shoulder? turn it around. On her... Elbow? <laughs> on her... <laughs> oh! Filtrum? I'll just say, on her... Uh, uh, hair. Very, very graphic. On her, her <laughs> underarm? Uh, uh, right. <laughs> the certain curlies, huh? <laughs> right. And it says, uh, the show host called the game Teen Guess What's in My Pants. The show host gave detailed instructions regarding how to rub the telephone across the girl's uh, uh, area. No! Wrong! Well, you know, you should only be punished, you know, if you do that repeatedly, you know. Do you know? Church, you only you get away with it once, right? We no. never say where the girl is rubbing anything. Right. We made a point of that because we're knowledgeable hey, because broadcasters. Because we're professional broadcasters. I'm not saying you're we're a pedophile. Smart, all and right? we know. <laughs> Look, just because you do pedophile things does not mean you're a pedophile. Yeah. <laughs> we don't I'm not saying you're a pedophile. You're not helping us I mean, today, you might Jim. have a lot of symptoms of a pedophile, you know, but they, you're not a pedophile. They said the same thing about Gary Glitter. That's what you know, <laughs> don't you love that guy? <laughs> did you hear the latest about Gary, Gary Glitter? Glitter? They want to. He's the guy. You know the guy from uh, what the hell did he do? Rock yeah. and Roll Part da One. Da -na. Hey, da -na -na. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. he's the guy that did that That's song. That's him. Yeah, it's Gary Glitter. Yeah. Da -na -na. Hey, da -na -na. Oh, yeah. yeah. So he gets. Uh, he he has a problem with his computer. Right. You know, little problem with the computer. And uh, he brings it into the shop to have it fixed. Right. And they look at his hard drive, and lo and behold, there's uh, plenty of children on his uh, hard drive. Very provocative uh, poses. You know what I mean. Very provocative indeed. As a matter of fact, when I see you on those uh, computer uh, commercials where you look over at Derek Jeter's yeah. screen, uh, yeah. same stuff he's probably yeah. got on his screen. There. You, you, oh, sh you yeah. shouldn't bring that up. Why? He doesn't do the commercial. I, I've I seen him already. It's not what we assume to wipe out all history. They, they he, replaced me. He got kicked they out. Though. It's, a, it, it's a, t it's it's a touchy subject with him. Enough. Is it? We can't even discuss it anymore. You can discuss I it. That's He's all all like Stalin. Just wipe out any history before. They they went with some other guy. They went, they they did. went they with a guy that's going to be cheaper. They went with dice. No, <laughs> with dice. Hey, what are you doing on a computer? I actually I don't know who the guy is, but they went with someone else. Yeah, they replaced him. But go ahead, Ant. Bastards. Oh, my God. This fine thing is going everywhere. Really? really? So no one makes a big deal out of all the priests that were, you know... I know. Yeah, oh, that's, well, they're kind of making a big deal of it. But. Well, I mean, a little bit. But, you know, <laughs> I mean, we're just a dopey radio show. That's the Catholic Church, and they've been doing it for years. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you know, it makes it makes a news headline once, you know, after how many... Uh, 
How many events? Many. many yeah, they really went out on a limb and say, like, if the guy's done it twice, we're going to let the police know. It's like, wow, thanks. After each direction from the host, the station broadcast the sound of the telephone rubbing across the girl's area. Now, no. It, what, is that her how, elbow? How is anybody to know? See, this is how the rules are getting a little too tight. We never said where she was rubbing the phone. Could have been an armpit. Could have been a leg. Could have been when we say, hey, have you shaved lately? Rub the phone. <laughs> oh, it's a leg. Who knows? We don't know what she was doing. We could honestly don't. She's on the phone. Could have been speakerphone. Could have been speakerphone. Unless Never you would have known. Unless you heard like a, <laughs> you know, something along those lines. <laughs> then there's lyrics from, <laughs> there's lyrics from one of the songs, Opie. <laughs> Yes, Anthony. Uh, it's the. Let me just say uh, the first word. I'm horny. Ah, <laughs> yeah. No. Uh, two, one, two. Round butts like uh, ram. What? No. That was said. What? Okay. Look, I'm gonna. Have to... <laughs> I love the yeah. bell. Uh, well, that's that really lets everybody know that that's what's going on, and I'm in agreement. Okay. <laughs> and and... Get, get back to the Gary Glitter thing. Oh, yeah, Gary Glitter. Or you want to continue with this? We're really distracted because this thing is... (laughs) Gary Glitter brought his computer and had it repaired, and uh, they found a bunch of uh, pictures of little kids and sex and things like that. So uh, they arrested him, and uh, he he got out of jail, I guess, and went to Vietnam, uh, which, if you know anything about Vietnam and Thailand and those areas, it's... uh, it's Kitty Disney over there if you're a pedophile. Oh, it's Disneyland. You just, uh, they're all running around the streets like that girl with the napalm on her back from the old uh, Vietnam photo <laughs> running down the street. It's, that, well, Gary Glitter likes stuff like that. <laughs> hey! Da-na-na. So, uh, Vietnam. Now, how bad do you have to be that Vietnam has just announced they are looking for Gary Glitter? They want to deport him. How. How bad do you have to be to be deported from Vietnam? During the war, they strap bombs to their kids. I know. And they want to boot him out for banging them. We're really trying to change our image of Vietnam. <laughs> Gary, you're a little much. You know, anybody who even whispers the word freedom will rip their sack off with a pair of pliers, but get that Gary Glitter out of, here, out of our nice country. John has a question for us, Ant. Yeah. Yes, John. Hey, what's going on, man? Just... About that whole guess what's in your pants thing? Yeah. yeah. That pretty much implies where they're rubbing the phone, don't it? Uh, do do legs go in pants, sir? Uh, yes uh, or yeah, no? I guess yes or no? Too. Thank you! Well, I rest my case. Sometimes pants will cover the uh, stomach and there's a trail under the belly button. Yeah, yeah the treasure trail. Everyone knows. Right. That. The treasure trail. Under the stomach. That's what's wrong with that? Maybe the girl had a hairy ass. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> there are plenty of areas that are covered with pants that can make the same sound. All right, Andy. And we never said that area. Andy. What's up, guys? What's up, Andy? I used to love Gap again on those old ESPN Sports Center commercials. Oh, yeah. God damn, those were too funny. Gap is a very, very funny guy. Oh, yeah. And the guy guy they have doing those Dietec commercials now used to be the Rick in the Sports Center commercials. Yeah. Oh, Uh -oh. They're stealing stealing everybody from the Sports Center commercials. Yeah. You can see those uh, ESPN spots at my website, oh, 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 oh. dot com. But we don't know how to spell Gaffer. I don't want to. We're don't wanna not that it. smart. That's not what this is about. It's G A F F I G A N dot com. And uh, who who designed your website? You were saying my girlfriend's dad did like this <laughs> overall of my website. Really? Huh? Seriously, he's like he, he, the guy's a genius. And um, did right. your website? He did it. He did it. He's great. Yeah. If you check it out, it's great. I will check that out. Pull it up. I will absolutely check that out. We're pulling it up, and uh, there you are. (laughs) Is it pretty cool or no? Yeah. I am outraged. (laughs) It's a website, man. It's it's not just a website. It is the best website Why is your website more special than anyone else's, Jim? Uh, Give me one. um, (laughs) It's got a lot of videos on it. Yeah. Um, Most, Most websites have. It seems very interesting to me. Yeah. 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 Okay. All right. Then again, There's a lot I'm, about you on it. Okay. It's, you know, it's, it didn't say under construction. It That's didn't a plus. Say under construction. Yeah. Okay. Uh, there's uh, the Jim Gaffigan breaking news. Uh, that is the breaking news. Link. Oh. Let's go to the Jim Gaffigan breaking news link, Anthony. And see All right. Breaking news. Let's go to breaking news.
Breaking news. Uh, breaking right. news. What is it? Well, you Jim clicked Gaffigan. on the breaking news. What? Jim just completed shooting a Law and Order criminal intent. Oh, where uh, he play play where he played the guy who runs a crematory, and instead of cremating the bodies, he dumps them. Yes. Yes, I. I've I've. Uh, <laughs> That's an honorable role. Isn't that one? Isn't that the uh, story about? Uh, yeah, that's, that's that a guy true from story. Atlanta. Yeah. Supposedly that guy in Atlanta was taking photographs of the people. Of the dead people. Yeah. 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 And they right. found him on Gary Glitter's computer. And da -da -da -da. And hey. Writing songs. <laughs> writing songs about it. <laughs> <laughs> you think that is a good website? You think it's cool or no? It is cool. I'm just right. busting your. I still can't spell it. E A T A B U L L E T. <laughs> no, no. Uh, G A F F I G A N. Uh, Anthony, Blind Matt has a question uh, for you. Blind Matt. Hey, fellas, how you been? All right, Blind Matt. Good, man. Long time no talk. I hope everybody's doing well. I just wanted to point something out. And though you are often very um, careful about obeying all of those rules, yes. uh, you are also very careful about using words such as the most intimate of regions, hmm. which I believe hmm. is not the name. I'm not sure. You know something? That was not used in that uh, phone call. That could be. That could it be. Wasn't. Not, it wasn't. I'm not exactly sure of the particular uh, call, but I do know that... Uh, but even that's vague. It used to be, and we uh, stopped using that term. If, you, if you've noticed, if you've noticed, and even that's vague. It's all very subjective. Legs are a very intimate area of a woman's Correct. body. If you're not allowed to look at her legs. And Norton, reason. and Norton, I do not want to know what you find the most intimate of regions. Yeah, but um, the rat surgery equipment. <laughs> But so I just want to say hello and point that out to you guys, and uh, you know, you I'm, stop, so keep I'm, it up. I'm getting pissed at this whole thing. I feel we're being crucified by the. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Bruno, what's up? What's up, Bruno? Hey. hey, you guys remember the day when uh, Stephanie McMahon called in? Yeah, of course. And you guys asked her to do the contest. Yeah, she did it. She did the contest, yep. but then after everything went down, mm -hmm. she's like, "Nah, I was rubbing the phone on my arm." That's yeah. right. Apparently, that uh, doesn't matter. Doesn't yep. matter. Hey, uh, John wants to try to. Uh, the listeners aren't helping us out at all with this. John, go ahead. Yeah, listen, Anthony. If yeah. you have a pull rack full of afro hair on your leg, that's a problem. <laughs> Might be. <laughs> if you describe the the rack of, on a pool table. A of <laughs> yeah. Take care, guys. Full of afro hair. You guys aren't helping us out at all here. <laughs> <laughs> Could be. Look, when you go to jail, I am going to support you guys. <laughs> Stop. I'll visit. They're going to be too busy with uh, Mr. Kelly. <laughs> we should take a break. Uh, Jim Gaffigan, where are you going to be? I'm going to be at the Stress Factory this weekend. Great club. Eight, yeah, great club, 8, 30, and 11. And, 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 and you got a couple CDs out that you could get yes. at uh, jimgaffigan.com. Very, mm -hmm. very funny guy. We'll continue with him. And Dustin, where are you going to be, bro? I'm doing comedy down at McGuire's in Bohemia. Bohemia. Yeah. Oh, you got to love it. Wow. Out on Long Island, sure. Oh, yeah. Comedy? Oh. Where? Yeah. No, I didn't hear you. Oh, McGuire's Bohemia, Long Island. Okay. All Bohemia. Yeah. And we'll continue with these guys. And we're back with the Opie and Anthony Show, Drowning Pool Bodies. Those guys play the River Rave Sunday in Boston. Right after this show, we're all heading to Boston. Gonna have a great weekend up there. Then we're broadcasting live from WBCN on Monday. So come on by and say hi, all right? Roy, it's gonna be a great River Rave. Tickets still available. Get them now. Jim Norton looks really, really pissed you know, off. Reading the message board, I, I don't know who they were talking about. All I'm going to say is, if you are a fan of just two finished fat radio people in any part of the country, yeah. I just really, really wish you leukemia. <laughs> <laughs> you, there you is nothing more annoying than that. You can't get <laughs> let things get to you, Jim. Oh, you just know that mentality. You just that just... wear a collared shirt to work. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you just got to... Got to let it, uh, you know, so roll off of you. Why do you let people so get to you? So irritating. Why? Oh, just to, to just to enjoy two fat men that much. <laughs> uh huh. There, that. Oh, okay. I see what you were reading. I'm just I'm generalizing now. My whole what life, I've never in my life in any part of our country thought that fat men were funny. That's just my point. We're beards. And who likes beards? They're terrible. <laughs> Goatees are okay, but Goatees beards. Oh, thank you. <laughs> beards aren't funny. Beards are not funny. Uh, all right. What well, do you feel about the Taft look? <laughs> it's just a fact. I like beards Taft. Hey, he really told you. Meh. <laughs> 
Uh, uh, well hung from New Orleans. Hey, you, you, you got a lot to learn, leave. Norton. You let these uh, idiots get to you. Oh, I just hate them so That's much. That's what they're going for, you jerk. I know, right. I know. They I want know. you to react. And I know if you mention it on and the so air. And so you react, they know they got to you, and, they, and you just made their day. It's, it, it, See? It's, it's just, it's, it's almost like fans of other, sh- like there are certain fans of certain shows, and certain fans of certain shows that don't bother me. Like, like you know, the, you know, maybe earlier in the morning, fans of that show don't bother me. Right. I don't know. Mm-hmm. I, they don't bother me at all. I understand what you're coming from. You just got to relax. The end justifies the means, as they say. So just... So move on. I'll have a cookie. Whoosh, whoosh. The just... show is starting to stink. <laughs> I've had nothing all day. <laughs> it's so serious. <laughs> Very it serious stinks. today. <laughs> no. And you're making it worse. I've had nothing all day. I just told Dan we're going to plow through this crap. Now let's, uh, let's go with it. I have been awful come on, guys. Hey, come on. We can do it. I don't think I can. <laughs> well, well hung. Funny thing happened to me. All right, go ahead. You first. All right, let's go to well hung from in New Orleans. New Orleans has a, a great thing that's happening down there in New Orleans yeah. on our station and our show. Congratulations to the sales staff here. They just signed on a new sponsor. A, a new, new sponsor, sponsor in New Orleans. Oz, right. right. New Orleans number one gay bar. Oz. Oz. New Orleans number one gay bar? Exactly. And they're advertising on our show. Well, we welcome Oz. No, the, we the don't. Gay bar. Why, why not? At least with a name like Oz, you know what you're getting into when you walk in that door. <laughs> you don't bring the kids into Oz. You don't bring the family that's what? visiting to Oz. Why can't we get uh, Pepsi or or, or uh, Chevy? What, what's wrong with Oz the gay bar? I see a running enough. theme here. Yeah, yeah. we don't have to go to the bar. You go to Oz and order a shot and they splash it on your back. <laughs> <laughs> ah, there you go. Wow, one funny thing, and I've only been on for what two hours and forty-five minutes. There you go. Well hung. Yes. Yeah. You got a homework uh, assignment. You got to get a copy of that spot for us. We'll do. Hey, you know, last so, so the rest of the country could laugh at us. Can we call up the uh, station? I don't know. Can or the board it? op or something. I, I want that immediately. Oh, yeah, the board op could do it. I want to no. hear that spot then immediately. Then we'll get on it, and, uh, and we, uh, we'll listen to the spot for the gay bar. All um, right. Your bartender Schillinger just <laughs> bend over. Notice all the stools are turned upside down. But I'm Paul. Are you writing my life story? <laughs> when three of your friends. <laughs> awful. This show is getting more and more awful. How that happens? We were distracted by our uh, FCC complaint fine thing. Anthony, what's going on? Hello. Hey. OP, listen, I love you guys, man. I'm a truck driver. Yeah. All right, man. These two guys are killing me, bro. I mean, it's it's horrible. The show is just going straight down the tube. Norton and Ben. Norton's funny. Anthony's funny. Norton and Ben. These two guys are horrible, bro. Not that. You know what, dude? I've had nothing all day, and we're giving them nothing to work with. I'm, I've uh, had nothing to Are you trying to say this show is coming to a screeching halt? <laughs> oh, it's been about an hour, 15 minutes ago. All right. We're, we're working our way through it here. All right. Do it fast, well, so please. Uh, I'm gonna fall asleep behind the uh, wheel. Do you have food in your mouth right now, sir? Or? <laughs> Sounds like it does. Well, you know, the, Jim uh, is so depressed he's gonna just eat on the air now. Well, well, we're you... gonna get through this. We're gonna turn this thing around. How do you interject over you know uh, you know this big fine and this big uh, you know <laughs> scandal scandal that's going on? Scandalous. It's hard to make yeah. pedophilia funny. We're then not you're trying to. Norton's <laughs> wishing people leukemia and you know this. Well, that's funny, Gay Marco's though. calling and no, you know well hung is calling. You know. Well, well hung is, you know... Just Gaffigan raises the point, though. Pedophilia is not funny. I mean, yeah, it's hot. But how do you oh, make it funny? Oh, Jesus. You know, Norton, you are the one that is going to get us thrown off the air. <laughs> no, I won't. You are the one. We try to sit and be nice. All right, Dumped, I apologize. And you... D- oh, now. It's too late. All right. Use your own finger and hit the dump button. All right. And what I don't get is a parody song. A parody. It says right. it right there. Parody. Back to the pedophile. Wow. Yeah. Uh, you know, Dustin's shown his knowledge. Stick yeah. to the sitcoms. <laughs> <laughs> we know this radio thing. It doesn't matter if it's a parody. One thing I want to hear about. Okay, here we go. Oh, that oh, goddamn oh. fight you did. So with, you uh, saw the celebrity boxing. I saw the celebrity boxing. I, I want to know. With, uh, uh, no gags or anything. I just want to know what it was like beating up Arnold Horshack, your Ron Palillo. Man, that was fun. Because you kicked his ass. Yep. And now you, you kind of know about karate, or what, what do you do? 
Yeah, but, you know, martial arts has nothing to do in the ring. Right, it's just put the gloves on and hit him in the face. Yeah, and the gloves are 16 ounces. They're like pillows, you know. I wasn't really hitting him. Now, he hard, said there was a deal know? made beforehand that no punches to the head. Well, when we got to the uh, to the thing, we got uh, you know we got our we got the way in. We got the producers come down and meet us, and the producers come down and said uh, that he had had a nose job and a chin job, and he was worried about yeah. me, you know, because my size getting you know popping him in the face. I weigh one ninety eight, right? Yeah. So uh, um, I said, look, you know, I'm he's got to do Hamlet the next day. I got to catch. I caught a red eye flight that night to go do stand up, and uh, so I was like, uh, look. I'm not out to, you know, kill you or anything. We're making the same money. Who cares? You know, we're making our money regardless of what yeah. we want to lose. Mm-hmm. So uh, we go out there, a fair fight. I agreed not to, you know, pop him in the face. You know, the head and the body, that's fine, but not in the face layer. I'm not going to try and break his nose. And he's like, okay, yeah, that's cool. And the producers were, were thankful for that, right? Well, um, we, uh, we get out there, and if you recall, the first thing he does is sucker push me right yeah. off the bat when the, when the referee says touch gloves, you know, have a fair fight. He pushes me. Now, that wasn't worked out to make it look, you know, exciting or anything. Maybe he was just being the So when you know, Arnold Horshack pushes you, now you gotta, you got to fight back. No, no. And if you watch the first round, because I stopped it in the second. I thought I was trying to get it to go to the third round. I didn't think I was hitting him that hard. I mean, I wanted that TV airtime. You know, you only get three rounds. Right. So I go up there, and, uh, and I'm hitting his body, even though he's so small. And I don't know if anyone noticed that goiter on his back. He had like this big lump. It he did was like have a, something going on on his back. Yeah. It was like a cyst. I didn't want to hit it. I was afraid it was going to pop, you know? So <laughs> I'm out there. That would have been good. You give his tumor a standing egg count. <laughs> yeah, you know? I mean, I'm, I'm sitting there and I'm, you know, we're going at the body and he's, he's just kind of, he's like a turtle. He just keeps coming up to me. And he's not really showing any boxing prowess. So we're out there and it, there's no target to hit. I can't hit him in the face. You know, he's holding his hands down by his body and hunching over. He's like a foot shorter than me. Eventually, you started hitting him in the face, though. Well, I want to know what turned that around. He bent down. Oh, I, I went to pop him in the stomach. Yeah. And uh, he, he came over the top and popped me in the chin. And then all bets were off. Of course. He popped me first. He started popping me in the face. And you blew his eye up. <laughs> I, I saw his eye was, uh, to, but yeah. was full of blood. They said that I broke his nose. Oh, you did? Did uh, you? I don't know. I don't think so. It looks straight to me, but it said that on the news. So I plan a whole career now of uh, beating up the elderly, the retarded, you know, kids. Yeah, you know, it looked really bad because he's just some old guy. You were beating up an old man. Oh, come on. He's 48. George Foreman got in the ring at 52. George I mean, Foreman, not I don't Arnold. compared yeah. George Foreman and Short Horseshack. <laughs> yeah, but you don't compare me and Tyson either. I mean, you know. I mean Foreman is a better actor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, you got... What, uh, Tyson and Lewis tomorrow? Are there uh, 10 Very years excited. over their prime? Very excited. What, you think Tyson's uh, 10 I, years? Well, he is 10 no, years. No, they are. They are yeah. Would you fight Tyson? Oh, for the money they give? Oh, yeah. $15 million, I'd go in there, just lay down, and that's it. Ten seconds later, I'd be uh, $15 million richer. Yeah. There you go. People say, man, that was you're a wuss. Oh. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, tell that to my guard <laughs> at the gate in the Bahamas. Well, the only thing is, if you're paralyzed, you have $15 million worth of new hats. Oh, I didn't say I'd go out there and take a punch. i just go out there and lay down. I don't want to spend the rest of my life saying pudding in interesting dialects. Put you know. that platinum pin on my lapel. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, did I add nothing to that. <laughs> but come on. <laughs> Damn brutal. <laughs> Why? What are they saying? Nothing. They're just they're brutal. What are they saying? I don't know. They want something different from our program today. Oh, <laughs> They want something different from the program. What? Laughs? Something. <laughs> something we're not giving them. Something apparently we gave them yesterday we're not giving them today. Pedoph- pedophilia? No, was... we didn't give them that yesterday. I think You're going to get us thrown off the air. Not me. That's Gaffigan. That's what I meant. I haven't right. said anything. I've been here an hour. Yeah, Gaffigan, come on. Give us something. You're doing nothing for us today. I'm being very shy. <laughs> I just woke up. I talk about one thing I know, uh, that goddamn uh, computer commercial thing that you were doing, and then I go, oh, that's off limits. You're not going to make me cry. Hey, let me tell you something, fellas. <laughs> yeah. I am an actor and a comedian, but I'll yes. tell you something. These, this situation here makes me really feel like I wish I was a film director in everyday life. So I could just go and cut because <laughs> there's somebody should there been a should have been a lot of cuts here. And cut. <laughs> we got it. Is that it? Set that. up a new angle, yeah. Well, okay. you're not. So we figured, you know, we'd invite you in and, you know, and see what happens. We had a couple of guys in yesterday just sitting around. Oh, my God, yeah. it killed for us. I don't know what happened. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's, I'm he just woke myself. up. Yeah, Gaffigan just woke up. 
I'm disappointed myself. Check out my website. <laughs> and I was like, all right, no. all right, we check it out. Maybe there's something good there. And we go, and it's like, no, it's the best website. <laughs> I come, um, all right. And then he's thumbing through the paper. He's just reading, yeah. eating. I, I don't know. Like, you know, I thought we'd hang a little. Yeah. Talk about anything. Yeah, anything. Did, in the that first hour we were here, you were talking about your pedophilia. <laughs> it was an FCC complaint. Look, you're addicted to pedophilia. It, oh, it is stop not. It's an FCC crap. complaint. It's an FCC complaint. We brought it up, and then we're moving on. Moving right. on. I just want to go back to why everyone thinks it was bad for me to, to beat up uh, Horshack because he was old. He knew what he was getting into. No, I thought that was very good, as a matter of fact. I wish, I wish you would have heard him more. Yeah. Is all I'm saying, because it was entertaining to watch. When you hit the ring, both of I'm like, oh, my God, he's going to kill this old guy. I had some showmanship in there, you know. I was playing Thank for the crowd. crowd. I liked uh, at one point you did. You went back. You put your arms down and kind of waved him in. He this thought it was an awful. opportunity. He came running in. And he got and, pummeled. And yeah. you lifted your hand up and punched him in the face. I thought that was, uh, I thought that was clever. Who cares? I thought that was nice. I mean, it was a very highly rated Stink. television show. This show stinks. <laughs> And cut to all of you. <laughs> We're talking about boxing. Yeah, but it was a big thing. 17 million viewers, and you know? And cut. What does it mean when Cousin Rob from Brooklyn says there's more humor in a cancerous testicle? <laughs> Is there That's actually answer? true. Yeah, there's, that, yeah there's, there's always humor. It's not necessarily the cancerous testicle as much as it is the shattered dreams of heartbroken family members. <laughs> <laughs> Huh. The, the what could have been. <laughs> Epstein's mother saying, you were looking for boxing prowess. You were fighting effing Horshack. And he was fighting effing Screech. I mean, come on now. Right. You know, he knew what he was getting into. You, All you know. right. Jim, what do you do? Jim so, Caffigan, stop reading. I'm not. Help I'm us. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I don't, I don't want to be I rude. I know you're funny. Help I don't want to interject. Us out. Look, he, you know, Mr. Diamond here is talking. Oh, this is bad now. People are asking, is Voss still in town? Perhaps we can get Rich Voss in. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and they're now begging that, for Voss. Yeah, that's bad. He's in Come Virginia on. doing a club that didn't want to be plugged because they didn't think Opie and Anthony were big enough down there. Yeah. Really? Well. Ugh. Whew. Wow. Great. It's, now, I've never been in a room that's experiencing flop sweat. <laughs> the whole room is sweating. Uh, it's just we're all like, uh. all right. Well, you know something. Well, when things like this happen, we usually go to the audience. No, no. And the audience so is what? a pretty good gauge uh, of what we CD? should do next. I, I the don't, audience I, is a good gauge as to what we should do next. I don't. All I saying. don't see no. anything good that could come out of that. What? <laughs> so what, I'm curious to see what the audience thinks was. You know, the down point. Of the uh, of the experience so far, I mean, was it the talking about the pedophilia? I don't know. Forty five minutes. The FCC complaint. I think it all went. Was wrong. that what happened? I think it all went wrong when I said, uh, "Hey guys, it's uh, Dustin." <laughs> oh, oh man, oh, so it's me. <laughs> yeah, I'll oh, be. Well, we Come know what, we know what's going to be in Celebrity Boxing Three now. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. I think we, what we said, ladies and website. gentlemen, it's uh, Screech. Uh, Andy, what's up? Help us out. Yeah, I just wanted to know why. Uh, Dustin there thought he beat Ali after he beat Horshock, dancing around the ring like he did. Oh, I'm supposed to just bend over and say thank you, insult me again. Yeah, you should. Well, how about I take you on? God. A absolutely. Yeah, right. When, when and where? You'd be afraid of me. Yeah, you're right. I'd be afraid you'd try and, uh, I don't know. Oh, yeah, that's it a good one. Bad. Yeah, that's a good one. That's yeah, well, a... Oh, you know. even the listeners suck. Not... What, are you calling me from New Orleans? Come on. Could you at least pretend to have I... confidence in that? Oh, I didn't <laughs> have anything mighty. to say. You know, I, didn't, I don't have the background of Saved by the Bell. You know, you know how bad you'd feel if you say you got your ass kicked by Screech? You wouldn't, have, you wouldn't be able to leave the house. Oh, you're mm. absolutely right. <laughs> well, well, good. Thank you. All right, Andy. Thank you. Cut. Oh, one more and thing. No, it's not going to work. That uh, caller was people, one sentence away from going, why wait, I oughta. Wait, Jim Gaffigan oh, stood wait. up. Oh, all right. I, I, I just stood up because I thought maybe it would help. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Mike is saying I don't know what I'm doing. I thought you were going to start you a fight or something. Huh? Mike said June 7th, I'm it must be a curse. A fight. Thinking back at last year, yeah, every, June 7th was our wow, first uh, day in show. Philly. Every we June were, 7th, we're going to Our show was horrible a year ago. We remember. It was our first day in Philly, and it stunk on ice. All and right. now today, well, look, be more gooder. Well, let's just get getting more people gooder. that have oh. poor grammar. Dimitri, what's up? Yeah, I just want to know where Screech is playing so I won't accidentally walk in. 
Oh, Would man. you shut up? So, so how did how did uh, the end? There's a room of like six people here, and uh, I'm the one that's targeted, right? Yeah, yes, see? target Dustin Diamond. You can't just blame Dustin. We all stink. Yeah. See? Definitely. No, no, no. It's a uh, McGuire's Dustin great screen. Playing. Yeah, it was definitely. Uh, I, I I blame it on uh, Jim Gaffigan. I think Jim's uh, got some responsibility yeah, yeah, here to uphold me. his end. I just want to know. Program. He's yeah. reading a hey, commercial I'm, log at this I'm point. I'm not the pedophile. All right. Are you reading? What did, uh, what did are I you do? Reading I was, a movie script? I mean, I'm, I'm trying doing, to do a radio I'm show. Doing some work here. I mean, was Jim safe because he was quiet more than I was? That I mean, might have been on. a good strategy yeah. on Jim's part. Yeah, that was a very, very, very good, good strategy, strategy on our part on the whole show. Preparing for an audition. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes you got to know when to just keep quiet. Yeah, I just yeah, I'm just listening. <laughs> I'm listening and learning. You guys are the pros. You yeah. know, learn the price of fame. That's what you get. You know. What? certainly is. Well, you know, it, it makes an easy target. Is. Like the last caller, the last thing he said is like, well, I want to know, how is it my fault? He goes, well, he'd screech. That's what See? he said before he before he was cut off, you know? Mm -hmm. So I guess, you know, being screech is the easy target. Yeah. Demetrius from Philly is saying that uh, those uh, percentages that Tim Sabian was giving off earlier yeah. about how much percentage we've gone up in Philly yeah. over the past year had just went down. 23.9% across the board, and they're still dropping. Um, you took three out of, of my life away, and I want it back, says Ben. <laughs> Noel. Yo, anybody, many, any of them guys wearing a wig? Get them out of here. Huh? You know, I don't, more and more that the callers keep calling in, I'm not feeling bad about their insults. No. I mean, you know. Not, oh. No one has anything today. Thank God next <laughs> year. out there, no one. June 7th no falls on a Saturday. <laughs> anywhere. All I know is that I love you guys. The whole room. <laughs> Todd from Buffalo. The whole room should be fumigated with leukemia. Okay, borrowing from Norton there. That's yeah. the best I could pull out was an old dopey leukemia <laughs> line. I had one good one today. And now going on exactly three hours. Train wreck radio. We got. Uh, that's well, what they're calling it, Opie. Let's help. Uh, let's see what uh, Lewis has. Lewis, right, maybe Lewis has something. Lewis. Yeah. What's the deal? We go from cringe radio to coma radio. <laughs> All right, Lewis. Okay, you, that sucked. No, no, no. Lewis, it was okay. Cut, Lewis. Yeah. Who yeah. is the problem today? I, I don't know. Um, uh, uh, maybe Dusty Boy. Why? Why? Uh, I don't know. Uh, Hey, Dustin, who are you going to fight next, eh, Bogota? <laughs> Why don't you go beat up a bunch of old people at the age home? <laughs> Why? Because Fox approached me and said, here, we'll give you six figures to go into a boxing match. Oh. Six figures? Yeah, nice. hell yeah. Six figures, man. Talk about a freak show. Dustin, you're not gonna, I don't care. Dustin, you're not going to turn around by bragging about how much money you made. I'm not bragging, gonna, but I'm also gonna, not going to not going to not defend you. myself either. They're going to hate they, you even more. How can they hate me more? I got to side with Dustin on that one. For six figures, you got to do it. I help for four figures. I'll stay at Michael Jackson's house. I'm negotiable. I don't care. <laughs> it all depends on where the decimal point is. <laughs> What? Uh, uh, yes, Jim? Can't we Are just you done reading your CD? freaking... I'm funny. What, play your play CD? My CD. <laughs> but why? is it radio friendly? Why would we play I your CD? So. You're here live. Yeah. Well, ask Do me you a need question a or something. Yeah, set me up or something. Right, look at the list on the back of a CD. All right, I'll try to set them up. And then try to set them up based on... I'll give you a setup. Give me a setup. All right, now you're reading all these... Hey, uh, that that Jesus, uh, Jesus. He uh, birthday. We're gonna Jesus. get bleak. We're gonna. Uh, no, I think okay. Uh, that, uh, uh, no, Jesus. Uh, is that you good? know, we all know. You know, uh, Jesus. You know, <laughs> we all know he was uh, he was a uh, carpenter. But was he any good at that? You know, <laughs> we're like other people were like. You know, hey, you know, it's a good thing that Messiah thing worked out because you know he built a shed for me, and uh, and he wasn't that good at that. Yeah, that's funny. That is funny. I like that. You know, it must have been hard for Joseph to discipline Jesus, too. He must have been like, uh, Jesus, I went in this house by 10 p.m. And she's just like, yeah, whatever. You ain't my real dad anyway. You know? See? Now we're, now we're that's cooking. That's funny. Now we're banging I on all cylinders. I just feel cylinders. like such a whore when I'm just doing jokes, oh, though. No, oh, no. Don't you feel like a whore about that? We need it. Hey, uh, Dustin, you want me to set you up with some? Hey, 
you know, at this point, I'm feeling like, you know, it's my fault. No! You know? I mean, how, what else? I'm, I got heavy shoulders. I'll take the blame, it's you know? It's not your fault. It's not. It really... What do you, I think really, I should just go yeah. back and play with the rats. It's not your fault. No. 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 Oh, Come on. Uh, Jim Gaffigan. Yeah. Um, <laughs> do you like that sex? I like sex. With your um, sex is good. With your girlfriend? Yeah, my girlfriend. I love yeah. my girlfriend. You know, yeah. whenever yeah. I'm having sex, I'm always thinking the same thing. Yeah. You know? I can't believe I don't do this more often. <laughs> you know. In fact, we're gonna do it again right afterwards. And then I get done, and I'm like, well, not right after. <laughs> <laughs> not a machine. But you you got to be careful whatever you say when you get done making love. Like you yeah. can't get done. And just go, hey, your sister's beautiful. <laughs> That's like a no-no. Yeah. yeah. My girlfriend, she always wants to talk right after sex. She's like, went I too don't far with that. That's I, dirty. I, I was inspired. Norton's here, <laughs> man. That guy. Norton, are you having a hemorrhage to an edge? I have nothing that might even be considered amusing to say. I have nothing to say. Just go home. They'll blame Aunt and I anyway. I got to take true. part. We'll just I'm throw an here. old brewer bit on and leave. Uh, Dustin? Yeah. Do, do you like sex? I, I like sex. Um, I always think the same thing. I should do this more often. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have an I like sex bit. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. It's uh, just what? a constant oh, here's battle. A, here's a little joke I used to Oh, do. Jimmy? Yeah. Yeah. You know you're dating a gal who's too young for you when you take off. All right. <laughs> as as Opie hits the dump button. Is that your dump? You I did, are. I did it on Stop! <laughs> I did did it on, you listen to Anthony earlier? Stop! I did, no, I did it on NBC. Hey, hey, Let hey, me hey, explain. Stop. Let me tell you something. Stop. Let me tell you something. You know, Norton, Don't even say Norton, that Norton word bring, anymore. Norton brings up a point. Kids yeah. are having sex younger and younger. At least ones I'm having. Well, wait, wait, wait for the... Uh, <laughs> Stop! I did that joke on Louis Anderson. I that's never that's well, great. Well, uh, it's very happy I for Louis. I would never do that joke I just did on stage. But <laughs> right. you know what happens? You can um, you can bounce up and down on a frozen lake, right? Mm -hmm. Doing doing doing, just jump, jump, jumping, and, and everything's fun. If you're mm -hmm. on that thin ice, mm -hmm. it's still point. the same lake, Good point. and it's still frozen, but the ice is a little thinner Good over point. here. Until we, at some point, move to the thicker ice, it's best Good not point. to jump. Let's not jump. Good point. Sure. Sometimes jumping's fine. So wait a minute. Where's I the I can't lake? believe I just dumped down on my pal Jim <laughs> Norris. Is there a lake here? You're better right. off. Let me go to Anthony. Anthony might have something on the phone. No, I have nothing. Anthony. Oh, on the phone. Anthony. <laughs> What's up, Owen Hey. You guys rule, man. All right. What? Um, does Dustin Diamond, does he have any bits? Does he do anything funny? I mean, anything? Yeah, he's doing comedy. He's at McGuire's on, uh, in Bohemia tonight on Long Island. Like, throw him a set him. Give him something. I want to hear something he's going to do. What is your act yeah, about? Yeah. Is well, there's, see, so you have to understand how it works. If any comic who's ever, you know, been on stage struggling and, you know, for 45 minutes, it's a long time to dangle, you know. And uh, dangle. It, once once you have a downward spiral like this, there's nothing you can say <laughs> to to bring up the audience. There really is nothing. There's nothing that I can say that's going to make people, because if I say something that I know is tried and true, you know, mm -hmm. for years, yeah. I do it all the time that works and kills every time. If I do it now, people are going, oh, that's not funny. You're a smart man. Because it's, you know, well, that is, a, I mean, come true. on. People, Hold on, I'm going to challenge you. Give us one. The difference is, though, no, people give us on the radio, one. you'd be surprised. People yeah. listening at home, uh, that's, you're right in front of an audience. Definitely. Because now, guys on the radio, you yeah, Dustin, Because now it's like, okay, be funny, and now everyone's going to kill us. Yeah, funny, right. you, you know. Let me go to this guy, uh, French, French something. French. Hey, what's up, guys? Oh, that's why. French. Yes. I hear Screech, the accent. Uh, screech there. Yeah. Yep. Uh, yeah, you effing has been. Hey. Uh, you effing show sucks. You look like a gay f on this show, man. Are you not funny? At least he's uh, using the proper terminology, oh, yeah. saying f. And See, not, you uh, effing F douchebag. Okay, well, thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, You're not actually, funny, I be, you I think, fat I, I, bag. I think it would be S-bag and D-bag. Yeah, yeah huh? you think you're funny, huh? You has been. And has been French. Yes. What are you, what are you doing? Your effing show sucks. Well, well, he's not bathing, you know that. Thank you. You look like a faggot on this show uh, before, and you look like a faggot now. On this show? It's radio, sir. Yeah, suck <laughs> it. You know that? Hey, French, what's your problem with uh, Screech there? They look like a 
stupid moron on that show. That show? <laughs> Saved by the effing bell. That was a long time ago. <laughs> yeah, well, you look like a dick. I, I'm sure he still looks the same. You know, with his effing hair like that. Okay. That looks nice. All right. You look like you had a patch on your head. What? Okay. So huh? you, you consider yourself a fan? Yes. A fan? Every yes. time I saw that show, I, I destroyed the TV. I threw a goddamn uh, baseball bat through the TV. All right. Very good. Okay. Well, excellent. You got a lot of baseball. Come on down to McGuire's. Douchebag. <laughs> Faggot. I, I love when a Frenchman any... calls me. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. I, I, about ten people is going to show up to your show tonight, and then you're going to go outside and kill yourself. <laughs> oh, my God. We thought... You're worse than Voss. Voss is funnier than you. Hey, you want to come on the road with me? You know Voss? You know that short little man? <laughs> you know, with T-Rex arms, he's more funny than you. <laughs> All right, Frenchie. All right, take it easy, guys. All right, there he goes. Uh, My life is complete now. I'm funnier than Voss. I mean, come on. That's an accomplishment. People want to know if Steve the Whistler is in the cream room. <laughs> no, no what want I want to, to know... whistling guy in. <laughs> what I want to know is how people think... Okay, that I look the same as I did on the show. Yeah. Okay. He looks much different. I, I look way different. I mean, the facial hair alone, you know. Hey, uh, Jim Gaffigan. <laughs> yeah. I noticed uh, that you're. Um, yeah. You're kind of mm -hmm. pale. That's kind of an interesting point that you just brought up there. <laughs> I am very pale. No, I'm very pale. It's uh, you know, it's like the first thing I know that people notice about me. I could be skipping down Broadway right now, juggling dildos. <laughs> <laughs> and people would still go, hey, look at how pale he is. That's a very silly joke. <laughs> All right, because he's pale, Opie. He, well, I notice he's a little pale. You can't even tell he has a You're goatee. pale, too. Not as pale. You're, you got me. You're paler. <laughs> That's funny. You're the palest. <laughs> yeah, a lot of good changes. It's hard to do sight jokes on uh, radio. Oh, that's not that bad. bad. Oh, that was a bad one? Well, it was, no. tri it was track one, I thought. Huh? huh? Yeah, you, you like to sleep? I do love to sleep. <laughs> I do. I tell you, I, have you ever been asleep at night and you're awakened by a noise? You're convinced is someone breaking in your house and they're going to kill you? Mm -hmm. But instead of getting up and escaping, you just go back to bed. <laughs> like, well, what is that, a murderer? Uh, I got to get some sleep. Can't kill me if I'm asleep. Could be embarrassing. You get to heaven. You're like, hey, how'd you die? I mean, I was too lazy to get out of bed. <laughs> yeah, I heard the guy in the kitchen. I thought I had an hour. Sleep's too important. You know, sleep can make you, you know, give up any principle, too. You ever been invited to something like, hey, you want to help the homeless? Yeah, I'll, I'll help the homeless. Meet us Saturday at 7 a.m. Oh, forget the homeless. <laughs> uh, they're homeless in the afternoon, too, right? I love sleep. You know you love sleep when you hear someone's entered a coma and you're a little jealous. <laughs> oh, that must be nice. They don't even have to wake up to eat, huh? Someone stop me. <laughs> Look at him helping us. I feel us. like I'm yeah. tapping. <laughs> tap, 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 tap. Look at the sweat tap, marks on your tap, tap, arms. Tap, 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 We're all tap, sweating tap, like pigs, but look at, look, tap, look, tap, look, look at your underarms, bro. Looks like you just tied up Chandra Levy behind a shrub. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. You are really feeling the heat. I man, am huh? pitting. <laughs> You're pitting. I'm pitting. <laughs> hey, Mike, pitting. what's going on? Hey, what's going on, boys? Hey. Hey, Jim, um, how was the Pope when he was little? What was he like? The Pope? I tell you, I wonder what the Pope was like when he was a little kid. Like, you know, like, wouldn't it have been great if you went to high school with the Pope? Because that would have been cool. You know, somebody did. Somebody sit at home watching TV in Poland. They see the Pope on TV and they think, wait a minute. <laughs> that guy was a jerk. That guy was a jerk. I think it would be great if you had a kid that ended up being Pope. That would be the ultimate bragging rights. Oh, your son's a doctor? Yeah, ours is Pope. <laughs> he does so. Yeah, do you think the Pope, when he was a little kid, fantasized about eventually being Pope? You know, was, like, you know how we might about being a professional athlete? Was he like eight years old in his backyard going, There he is, the leader of all the Catholics! <laughs> <laughs> what a Pope! Norton just Norton. left. Very good. Norton, walked, Norton out. walked out on Gaffigan's he, act! He walked out in the middle of the joke. I think he's getting coffee. No. You lost 20% of your audience. I know. <laughs> that quickly, just like this show did today. <laughs> Possibly more. All right, we're going to break here. Wow. Dustin Diamond, uh, you're going to be at... Uh, uh, 
McGuire's. McGuire's. I'm McGuire's. sorry. In Bohemia. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't matter at this point. Yeah. <laughs> oh, stop. No, you'll get you'll get a bunch of people down there from this program. Yeah. You will. The, the people that work here at the it'll building? Be, right? <laughs> and it'll be your forum. Well, you know. What do you do? McGuire's Comedy Club. Don't feel bad about yourself. People won't even recognize me anymore. That's the, that's the funny thing. They say, like, yeah, you still look the same. And I get out there, they see me with a facial hair and a beanie cap, you know. They're like, that's not Screech. The guy looked like he went down on it and came up with it. Come on. See, it's a downward spiral. You can't recover from that. <laughs> downward spiral. I mean, I was trying to. This, I was. I was. Once, once you're in that, yeah, even Maverick knew when he was in that flat spin with Goose in the back, you got to reach down and pull that lever and eject. Just yeah. punch out. Well, we're pretty close to ejecting, right? Well, True. Yes. True. Yeah. We all are. Man, it's a matter of minutes. Yeah, it's only 50 short minutes to go. <laughs> I feel some funny things coming on. Why would you walk out in the middle of the Why did you walk out in the middle of Gavigan's He act. gave me the finger. He walked I out and gave me the finger. I happen to like Gavigan very much, and he knows that. I think he's hilarious. I actually, I had an, an overwhelming bladder. That I had. But oh, in the that middle that of his joke? I, I, I don't care. Yeah, We're all feeling uncomfortable. I, I, I consider did, that a standing, moving ovation. All right? The guy was in the middle of his joke. Well, I, I, act, I think that's hilarious. I just want to get a tape of this show so I can, you know, send it out, try and get some work from it. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I think this would be a good demo tape. You know? <laughs> Look at Jim from Philly. YSP just went back to playing music, <laughs> and I don't blame him. Oh. We got the manager of the uh, the gay bar Oz, yeah, no our way. new advertiser in New Orleans. Yes. Yeah. What the hell's going on up there? I want my money back. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Hey. I don't believe that's him. Of course not. That's a matter of Oz. All right, we want to thank Dustin Diamond for stopping by. Guys, us. thank you very yes. much for coming in. Thank you. It, it was, was great. A banner day. Dustin Diamond. <laughs> a banner, banner afternoon here on the Opie and Anthony Show. Would you stop? I just don't want him leaving sad. You all right? Yeah, I well, give you know, applause. as all right as you can. Yeah, but I'm singled out as the only name, so obviously, you know. I, <laughs> I brought the devil with me when I came, you know. <laughs> Yeah, now Norton's not going to return my calls, you know. I happen to like that yeah. very much. <laughs> no more rat feedings. These guys yeah. are making Jim Gaffigan very uncomfortable. Now he's looking at a magazine. Yeah. He's reading magazines. Magazine. Upside, down. Down. <laughs> Upside down. Upside <laughs> down. Thumbing through it. <laughs> I'm going to come to your show with magazines, and I'm going to sit in the front no. row. So you can feel like I don't. Feel right now. Oh, you're joking. <laughs> no. No, don't do that. Opie, don't. <laughs> don't bring a magazine. Oh, you were joking. All right. Hey, where are you from, Jim? I am from Indiana, yeah. and I know what most of you are thinking. Indiana, mafia. But uh, <laughs> I can't do any more It was jokes. good. I was Sammy set up there. I was good. Yeah, I you were Sammy set up. That was good. I should host my own show. <laughs> All right, we're going to see. We're going to break, and we'll see who returns. <laughs> All right. All right. It's the Opie and Anthony uh, debacle train wreck. You're checking out the Opie and Anthony show. Let's see who's still here. Oh, no. Oh, no. Opie, here. Anthony, here. Jim Norton. Sad, but here. Jim Gaffigan. Here. Barely. Dustin Diamond. Dustin Diamond. Hmm. Did anyone see him? Is he still on campus? <laughs> <laughs> well, Dustin had to get to his. Uh, I think it's a long drive. Out. Show, uh, it's it's Long Island. It's, it's a long drive. It's oh, Friday. It's, out there, man. it's a fun thing. It's, it's a a rush job. hour. He had to leave early. Is what I'm saying. Where was Patrice and Voss? Uh, Bob, what's summer? going on? How you doing, guys? All right. I hear Chicago's wearing a best of minor league hockey tonight. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and Tim Sabian jumped. All right. Uh, <laughs> take it easy. That's a cute little joke for Chicago because they take the show in uh, tape delay and instead they know how bad the show's going to be. Why so, bother? So why bother running it so minor league hockey best of? <laughs> Yes, Jim Norton. I don't know if I'm. All, it, I don't know if I, I haven't heard any official word at all, but it doesn't. I don't know. It could not be true, but it, it, I'm not sure if Colin's show is going to go. It doesn't look like it will, and I just want to say what a disgrace mm -hmm. it is that the networks will not pick up such a brilliant comic and his show. It's a disgrace. Oh, yeah. it's a disgrace. Mm. 
Wow. More wow. tragedy happening today. That really today. makes me want yeah. to vomit. More tragedy. Uh, Jim Gaffigan, would you like to share I, I, I tell you, Colin Quinn is a really, really funny guy. We all know that. Oh, hell yeah. Right. We've had him in here. Great show. Guy. And that yeah. show was really solid, and it was a great vehicle for Norton to get off the show. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> just, just his monologues. It's so aggravating that somebody so goddamn funny gives him such great, brilliant political stuff, uh. and they don't want it. Yeah. You're putting chiseled chin people on and wonder why cable is smashing you. Nobody's watching your faggot sitcoms. Hey, we hey, we hey, are hey. so consumed with beauty in this country. It is ridiculous. Hey, is I mean, compared to, like, like British television, mm -hmm. it's like you watch that, and it's like watching an Orville Redenbacher commercial. <laughs> it's like you're like, where'd they get all these ugly people? But we can put, like, beautiful people on that are, like, mm. boring as sticks. Then again, we have them at least. The British people are homely and boring. <laughs> But you weren't you weren't boring on TV. Jim. I was not. No, Jim's funny. But I I'm not I'm not handsome enough to keep on there. I guess is that what it was? I don't know. Is that Look why they him. pulled that show? I don't know. No, I don't know. People didn't watch it. The problem is you're so pale they couldn't see you. On That's TV. right. Uh, Whenever there was a boy background, it was just floating glass. All those lights they got to use to you know film. You're hitting stuff. the contrast <laughs> you're on just your television. As pale yeah. as me. I don't know what you're talking. He put on a black sweater. He looked like. Where do we get Jones. Conan here? Conan in here to make fun of me too. Hey man, this is like South Africa, and I'm not as pale as you, my friend. I am very pale. <laughs> I have All finally right. found somebody that is paler than me, and it's, it's you, Jim Gaffigan. It stinks too because I'm Korean. You know. And, and uh, can and, I go on uh, record and say, yeah, I don't know what the listeners are hearing through their little radios today. Unfortunately, but, I and, do. And I swear, and I'm not making uh, you are cracking me up today, Jim Gaffigan. I was just doing the and cut because I love during your, a lot of that. I love that's all your, I could get in. But I love your sarcasm. And, but what about that them? dryness that you bring uh, to the table? So, okay. Opie, by you saying that, I'm assuming that you didn't uh, feel that. Uh, uh, Dustin was was I, doing a good I job. I think he had a bad day. Do you think that's what it was? <laughs> I kind of said it to him when he goes, "Where do you think it went wrong?" I said, "Well, when we said, ladies and gentlemen, let's hear, let's say hi to Dustin Diamond." I I told him, man. Look at it, Anthony giving the that's courtesy when laugh. That's turned around and started chuckling. It says, Anthony giving the courtesy laugh to Dustin's lame attempt at humor was hysterical. I, well, it wasn't a courtesy laugh. It was yes, more a nervous it titter. Was. It was more a nervous titter. It was very loud. I'm like, ha, ha, ha. It was like canned laughter. Ho, 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 ho. Then I go, ho, ho, ho. See, that's our job here. Yeah. Opie does that. Hey, you know what? And we should... I, I you no, know, you know try what? to make a feel. Right. You know what, though? We should uh, let the listeners in on something uh, so they yeah. can really enjoy the next time we have just a mess in here. Yeah. You will hear it, and I just totally fake laughing to try to bring something to the, to the situation. <laughs> and it get, if you know we're fake laughing, it's, yeah. you can tell no, how uncomfortable well, it is. Well, when you go, <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah, like obvious really... what's going on. Hey, would you guys uh, like to hear the gay uh, bar oh, talk in New Orleans? Here we go. This yeah. is, I swear, this is our latest uh, sponsor in New Orleans. Oh yeah. And uh, Jason's got the commercial, right, Jason? Yeah, I got it, man. All right, let's uh, let's take a listen to the uh, the gay bar that is now uh, advertising on our show in New Orleans called Oz. Called All right, here you go. It's pretty short. It's just a tag. So here you go. All right. Are you looking for the best place to dance in New Orleans? Well, look no further than Oz, 800 Bourbon Street. Oz was voted New Orleans' number one dance club seven years running. And in Canvas Best of the Best, Oz was ranked as New Orleans' number one gay club. Nationally famous DJs, New Orleans' number one light show, and the best sound and atmosphere. Oz at 800 Bourbon Street is the best club in town. There you go. The sound quality wow. of that was... Uh, a music club, and they're like... <laughs> best place to dance. All the feet sound like they have Velcro on them. <laughs> well, they use real the audio sound. down there in uh, New Orleans there, Jim. All right, thank you, Jason. You got it, man. All right. The spot was recorded in a man's colon. <laughs> That's why the uh, sound quality was a little off. Yeah, the rat was trying to make its, <laughs> make its way to freedom. The hamster was nipping at the microphone head. Hey, what's the name of that song? It's the Hall. <laughs> Everybody do the Hall. <laughs> hey, you know, wow, this is really funny. Let's go to Rob. Rob, Rob you're next on the Opie and Anthony show. Hey, guys. Hey. You guys are usually just great, but yeah. today you ought to take advantage of this and say anything you want. I think you put the FCC to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Thank you. And Joe from Boston. Joe, what's up? Hey, Norton. Joe, go. Ain't going to work. Norton? God. Sorry. Why don't you just say what you want to say? Say, Joe. 
Oh, he's leaving. Scumbag networks. Hey, here's Philly checking in, Anthony. All right. Wayne. Go ahead, Wayne. Dude. Yeah. What's up? I listened to this show for a whole year, and I get to hear this dude from Saved by the Bell. What am I going to get for another year? Like, what are you going to bring in? Buffy from friggin' uh, Family Affair? I think. Come on. Oh, Buffy from Family Affair. Don't let him out of that one. Yeah, Don't that... let him out of that bombing. We've been admitted our bombing all day, and you just took one on the chin, so now you admit it, yeah. Mr. Caller. Yeah, Come on. And what's up with this club now? Buffy dude? Is that, what is that? Bring, bring your own gerbil or what? Hey, uh -huh. you're, you're not going to be uh, <laughs> warming up for uh, Dustin tonight, are you? Um, are you at McGuire's tonight? Dude, I got a real job, bro. All right. Thank you, Wade. Hey, you guys suck. Oh. <laughs> it's good to see the listeners are calling in the bomb with us. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this is funny, too. Uh, let's what? go to John. John, go ahead. Hey, what's up, guys? Hey. Hey, man, comics that aren't funny are like strippers that don't get naked. It's useless. <laughs> <laughs> you guys suck. Norton is the only funny person on that show. Norton, you rock. Uh, the rest of you, you blow. I'm having a uh, bad Thank uh, you. day, too. We're uh, all having a bad day. Gaffigan is actually the only one coming out with good lunch. Yeah, and, and Jim, um, we once had strippers in here, and they did not strip. I was... Mm -hmm. uh, that was that was not an ideal situation. No. And cut. <laughs> <laughs> and cut. Oh. I, it says here that Screech was a sportscaster. <laughs> Is that what you're reading over there, his bio? Yeah. And uh, uh, I don't have anything to say about it. And cut. <laughs> and cut. And it's a disease. I wonder what's going to be on NBC tonight. We have so many things we never got to today. I know. <laughs> Yeah, have you ever taped yourself having sex, Jim? See, that's no. what I wanted to talk about for the past two days. Because what do you mean, R. R. Kelly? Kelly thing? Yeah. That's... R. Kelly, you know, he uh, got caught uh, having sex, underage girls, on videotape. Yeah, first he said it wasn't him. And yeah. then he said it was him, but yeah. that the girl wasn't 14. Right. And then he said, it's not me, but I'll pay the family a bunch of money anyway. <laughs> if it isn't you, are you going to just go forking money out like that? Dude, what is she, 14? Why do you videotape that? There First of you all, you shouldn't do it, and B, you shouldn't tape it, stupid. <laughs> Why does this show always go back to pedophilia? No, well, it does it, You know what this is? This is a hot news story that people are talking about. Even, I'll say. Even, hot off the presses. Even CNN is uh, discussing it. Right, and yeah. all I'm saying is, it, you, first of all, you don't tape yourself having sex ever i know why yeah. do that i brought up a point the other day a bunch of people have had videotapes of uh graduations and weddings and anything else and then uh, you think what happened to those tapes do you remember Nah. you move you lose some same thing happens to the uh, sex tapes and they wind up yeah. on the internet and whatnot so i i have no idea why anyone would do that if you want to see yourself having sex on television you can prop the camera up without a tape in there yeah. And look ridiculous doing it. Last thing I would want to see is myself having sex. That would be it's weird. Yeah, why why do that? Yeah. Go with the mirrors. There's no reason to videotape yourself. What's that? Uh, I, got, I got photographs of my mule. I photographed See, it. that's another thing. A lot no of people take face. the pictures. No face. No face. There's one where I'm right I hold the camera down right. and I'm looking and I I look like Lamata telling a joke at the end of Raging Bull. I'm just fat. And my neck is fat, and my mule. What your neck is in there, and your belly, and your mule. Oh, uh, I, I got. Well, oh, I got yeah. one of myself. Uh, let's just say finishing up business with my. Fat Why stomach. were you taking you pictures picture of that? yourself doing oh, this? Oh, dude, not that I would. Were you alone in is the it room? An action yeah. Shot? Wait, you're alone. You're oh, just yeah. doing things nice. yep. to yourself. Yep. And you're snapping pictures. No it was face. On your to-do list, or no, no, no. We had nothing to do with sending them out to girls that I might have been talking to. Ah, <laughs> uh, was it Polaroid or no. digital? Digital, please. Come okay, on, so it's the millennial. millennial. High quality. I'm thinking Come maybe, oh, silly me, I'm thinking maybe this was a phase you got no, over, man, not last week. A Polaroid, no. Bro, why, why would you, why'd you do that? Just curiosity? Nah, well, you're talking to a gal online, and they say, well, what do you got? And you want to go, well, funny you should ask. He takes a digital picture and then uh, emails it to the girl. He, he advertises. Do you know she probably goes, hey, this is Jim Norton's mule. Prove it. No face, <laughs> just a fist and a little angry thing. <laughs> And my dumb belly in one shot. I'm the action shot. My stupid fat gut. 
They're so are you talking on the phone? No, I was alone. You're typing? You know how hard it is to keep a rod with your toes pointed straight out and aim the camera and finish and capture it all on film and suck in your fat gut? No idea. It's awful. <laughs> Did so you making... get a good uh, shot of the uh, finishing move? Yeah, I got, yeah, you definitely, there's definitely, uh, it looks like someone cracked an egg on a German war helmet. <laughs> <laughs> You're making Jim Gaffigan very uncomfortable. You didn't get any range Certainly. shot though. Dude, I, Those I damn don't have digital cameras. Shot. They don't. They don't go off right yeah. when you press it down. You got to time it right. I don't. I don't have the atomic it, camera. It does a little <laughs> five second video though. You could have gotten that. Oh, oh right. is I that actually, what you do, Jim? That's what I do. <laughs> when you are pasting yourself. And if you go to jimgaffigan.com. <laughs> ah, lock on and. Check out Jim's picture. I got I got like twelve mule shots. Some of them are awful. No, you really have twelve shots. Like oh, yeah. so, like oh, you're yeah. talking nice. to somebody Did online. And you're like, you know what? This nah, conversation nah. has reached a point where she needs to see my. It depends. Yeah, you know. I'm, I'm not shy about it. Why you go don't through you... all your pictures trying to figure out which ones this one's look good. better? Oh, I look well, good in this too. one. Do you want a headshot or a headshot? Do they know? Is that common? Um, well, the chat rooms I go to. <laughs> Do they know that it's you from this program? No, 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 no. Okay, no, no. so then why not just get I a really picture from a sex site? I can't lie. And take that picture and go, yeah, here's me. This is me. You know, with a six pack and the no. washboard what abs. I can't lie. What are no, the cool. responses to the picture like? Nice. Yeah. Um, nice. Good shot. Uh, do what, they reciprocate? They I like the lighting. Do they send yeah. a do they shot send... of their beef or whatever? Yeah. 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 Really? They do? Oh, yeah. Where are you going for this? Is this an AOL no. thing? Oh, it's regular internet thing? Yeah. yeah not just a, it's an email. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> <laughs> it's <laughs> random people. I think you should go to Glamour Shots to get your ne next set of pictures. No, nah, there are people that you talk to and whatever. I don't just send them out randomly. I have to know somebody. If right, I right. know somebody so you, who's old enough, you'd, B, you have to know them certain, you know. It's, you right, know, you whatever. develop yeah. a, you know, rapport. a rapport. Wow. There you go. And wow, then they get I the, didn't uh, know you were uh, getting into this. I'll send because... you one. What chat room no, is that's... that? I don't want to open up that email. Oh, yeah, you're getting one. Oh, look, it's got a virus attached to it. <laughs> <laughs> I am not opening that one. And up. let's go to Psycho Tim's. Uh, Tim, what's up? Yeah, what's up? Make it fast, bro. All right, quickly. I got, sir, uh, we're having the stick stop next week. We got four strippers coming up from Boston, New Hampshire to uh, give out the wild stickers up at the at this uh, hotel we're going to be at. And the girls are going to be there on Monday, so you guys can check them out to start off the... Uh, the wow, uh, the best wow. <laughs> Is that quick enough? And cut. He's having, and a, cut. He's having a hard time, isn't he? Maybe the By the way, you guys killed yesterday. That was a great show. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thank you, Tim. So, uh, and you can find all the information on where? <laughs> Did you just hang up on him? I have no idea what he was talking about. He's talking about. about the wow contest. Okay. That starts Monday with all the radio stations. But Basically, we're, we're, it's like the Naughty 90 contest. We're inviting the girls to come down to all the stations we broadcast on yeah. to get their pictures taken. We're looking for the best wow. Up for grabs this time around, Anthony? Yeah. $5,000 cash provided by RiskeVideo.com. Five grand. Five grand for the wow. winner of the best <laughs> wow contest. You yourself for five grand. Five grand. <laughs> well, we get a lot of, you know, uh, you know the professionals and stuff. Yeah, that's and, all and you, regular girls that want to show off. All they have to do is wow? The, the best wow, though. It's just like Naughty 90. You go down the station, there's someone waiting with the digital camera. They take shots. Oh, good. We put all the shots on opianthony.com, and then the listeners uh, vote for their best one, and the winner's going to win $5,000 cash, yep. courtesy of riskavideo.com. Wow. The contest starts Monday. Nice. Let me give the and girls gonna be, a And uh, we're going to be at uh, WBCN on Monday, yep. so we're hoping a lot of girls show up, uh, you know. In well, Boston for this, because that's where WOW started, as we all know. Let me give the girls, the first few girls that come in, a little clue, because it seems that when these contests start, the pictures look like the uh, medical pictures in medical books, where they're just standing straight up, showing their uh, boobs. Yeah. yeah that it, it, Just because it's a WOW contest doesn't mean you can't accentuate your WOW with other parts of your body. Do whatever you, you know want. You know how the Naughty Nighty contest ended up like... I don't even know where the nighty was in that picture. <laughs> yeah. It was a naughty nighty contest won by a completely nude woman. <laughs> so if the girl wants to lay down, whatever, show that, yeah. kick a little hip out there, that's fine. But the, What's the matter, Jimmy? Just kick a little hip. You know, when she lays down and the hip is up and 
Oh, take another picture of your schlong, you <laughs> sick No, F. you should submit your schlong for this wow. Yeah, thing. do no. that. No. <laughs> if they have an ugh contest. So we got to adjust the contrast on the camera for your white belly. A yeesh. Is it just everything else blacked out behind it? So all ladies in the Boston area show up at WBCN on Monday because we're there. Yeah. All right? Uh, the winner's walking away with $5,000 cash. You're going to have plenty of time to uh, qualify for this. But, oh, but yeah. it all goes yeah. down Monday, the best wow contest with Opie and Anthony. Right. Jim Gaffigan, a very, very funny guy. He's playing the Stress Factory all this weekend. Thank you. We love uh, Jim yes, Gaffigan. Yes, very and, funny. And Stress Factory is a really, really nice club. 5-4-5-ha-ha. Ha. For Jim H-A-H-A. Gaffigan tickets? H-A-H-A. That's, That's the, the Stress number. Factory yeah. number because 4242 spells ha-ha. One of <laughs> that and Vinny, right on top of things. Five four five, <laughs> ha ha. One of the best uh, comedy shows that I've ever seen. Uh, Jim Gaffigan and Brian Regan. Oh, thank wow, you. Both guys show. killing. Very good. Why do you killing. Look, why do you look at me like I need to I pony up? Well, no, because I felt guilty because I've seen you too. But I'm telling you, you know, I uh, don't feel guilty. You got maybe me. if you didn't have boss warming up for you, I would say, you know, when I saw you it was the oh. best show. I don't care if it was oh. the best show as long as people come out and see me in Atlantic City at the okay. end of July. We're gonna play. What do we learn next? All right, let's play What Did We Learn on the Opie and Anthony Show today and get the hell out of here. <laughs> we got to get our asses to Boston for the River Rave Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Right. And then we'll broadcast live from WBCN on uh, Monday. The WOW contest starts, so ladies, please show up at WBCN on Monday if you want in on the, uh, the contest, okay? Yeah. $5,000 cash up for grabs. I want to thank Jim Gaffigan for stopping by today, Anthony. Thank you. Thank you, Jim. Yes. Thank you. I know that there was uh, there was kind of a weird hour there, but I think we pulled it out. It was only an hour? <laughs> it felt seemed like, like about <laughs> ten. <laughs> but like uh, when, a kidnapping. When did but... we pull out of this? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if we have. <laughs> <laughs> and cut. <laughs> Jim Norton, what's up, man? Simon. What's going on? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, cranky, yeah you are. Yeah. It's all right. I, I blame you. No, I take responsibility for my dumb comments. I, I think I was like three for 40. Yeah. 41. <laughs> 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 Every time I opened my mouth, it was just a show-stopping stare fest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's always nice when, uh, you know, people need a little pick-me-up to just jump in and contribute nothing. Well, we're all sinking. Well, here's a bag of rocks. <laughs> Jim Gavigan's getting uncomfortable. I, I, I've, I've I know his move now. When he gets uncomfortable, he reaches I've for the I've looked magazine. at a lot of magazines. <laughs> I've looked at a lot of magazines Jim. while I was here. Mostly when Screech was here, I was looking at a lot of magazines. <laughs> Jim's doing a lot of perusing. Perusing, nice word. <laughs> five, four, five. A lot of perusing. Ha, ha. I'm ogling myself. I learned Kreskin was the high point of the show. Ooh, you never want to <laughs> wow. hear that. Jerry from Edison, I learned today one year to the day, and Tim Sabian is once again questioning his decision. <laughs> he also learned at Oz, the stools are upside down and the shots are served splashed on your back. <laughs> okay, that was funny. That was a really good one. you got to count them one by one. Yeah. Ah! Add them up. Uh, he also learned every June 7th, the show stinks and I don't like it. And he learned the me- uh, the meaty, excuse me, breasted zilch in the wingtips had nothing today. <laughs> uh, Jersey Gary also learned the homeless are still homeless at 2 p.m. He also learned he won't be listening to the June 7, 2003 show. No. Uh, he learned Norton needs to relax. The ends justify the means. Mm-hmm. He also learned Canadian radio station call letters are named after sexually uh, transmitted diseases. Wow. <laughs> And that Anthony is a better mentalist than Kreskin. At least Anthony predicted buildings falling down one year ago today. Hey, there you go. That was a little scary. Tim from Philly says it all. This is as bad as Voss's act from yesterday, but you don't have 13 years and crack to blame. (laughs) Uh, Let's go to the phones for a couple here. John, what's going on? Hey, guys. Hey. I learned that today's show was bad points having your wife call into your show every day. Ah, oh, there you go. Dude. And also, that Jimmy went three for 41. Dude, I'm not married. I've never been married. I mean, I, maybe someday I will, but hopefully I'll marry someone who's interesting. Three for 42. All right, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Wow, Dominic. You and you know what? And he was right. I can't eat. You're right, sir. Dominic, go. <laughs> Today I learned, oh, you know what? I'm sorry. I got to go. I have like 42 interviews to do. I'll see you later. And <laughs> 
Uh, all right. <laughs> His timing really stunk. It, really, it was a great concept. I got to go, but the interviews are coming. All right, stupid. But it was actually a great joke. <laughs> great concept. You're a writer. <laughs> I'm hoping to go four for 44. I love the fact that this show just stunk. Oh. You know, what are you going to do? And, and you know, if and we had, had such a, a, a good week of radio, too. We had high hopes to close it out strong. And as a comic, you know that when things are kind of lagging, if you can have a few gems, you're yeah. really going to shine. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. I just couldn't shine. And Kevin from Queens. Someone got it. Today I learned and cut. And cut. Jim Gaffigan is a very funny guy, and he's yep. playing the Stress Factory uh, this weekend. I highly, highly recommend you go see uh, Jim Gaffigan. There you go. JimGaffigan.com, Anthony. Check out that website. And he's got a couple CDs. That's where I got the setups from. There you go. Earlier. I did there some setups go. for you. Oh, I didn't notice. I didn't even get to the glasses one. No, I, it's too late now. Yeah, know. all right. <laughs> Maybe you can do that at the Stress and Factory. Cut. And cut. Okay. And cut. I learned what awful radio really is. Phil from Philly. <laughs> God damn. <laughs>